This is going to be a story about a manure spreader I bought off a guy uh, 12, 15 years ago, I guess. I never did go pick it up. And my boy there, he decided it's time to go get it. So we we're going to go get her here in this short. See what we, kind of mess we get into. But hold on. Right there. There's a little dodge in there. How's it running? Huh? <clears throat> what do you think? Well, after 15 years, we finally come get it over here. Very good shape. I think we're going to have to turn that hitch over. Oh, back her in here. Been sitting here for a day or two, and it's uh, Yeah, let's wait. We, hey, just wait. We pull up, let's, let's ease down. Okay. I know he's full of it. He said we didn't have to sw swap it over, didn't you? He left it all the way up. Oh, it won't cause it. There you go, son. Heavy lift. Oh, yeah. Yep. He's got her now. I've never seen one like that, but you know it goes straight up towards that shed as far as you can go. I'll watch him on this side. It's in four wheel drive, put it in low gear. Straight ahead. Easy. Easy. Turn it around a little bit, son. Head, head it out the other way. There you go, you got her. Oh! Back up just a higher. Leave it, Mike. We decided we it'd be easier to do this than it would to load it. Oh. If, if it would roll good. <laughs> It might bounce a little. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, them dang fence posts, they're about five dollars a piece now. <laughs> yeah. Everything's so expensive. Yeah, that's all about me. Here he goes. Hey, hold, hold on. I'm going to get that by. Hey, son. Hold on, Mitch. Just hold on. Okay, he said. He's her out here. Oh, yeah, that's a roll. Turn her deep. First time it's seen daylight in a day or two, ain't it? It's been a while. It bumps a little low. <laughs> Uh, I guarantee you, very next day. I have to. He's in down a good place out there. Now, no more about nothing. I'm going to have the pilot and ball in there. I wouldn't use it anyway. <laughs>
You like me, uh, hard to say no ways. I think you're in pretty good shape for age, don't you? I guess. <laughs> we'll see if she works or not. You... We gotta record that tar, though. Look at that. That tar out right there is brand new. What? 50, 50 years ago? Probably. I think it's road ready. Oh, you didn't think. Uh, so then hop in there and I'll turn her on and we'll pull out here and see if that thing works. If you had to jump them things, I'll know it's working. <laughs> if you stand still, I'll know it ain't working. Or how long has it been since you used it? Seven or eight years, I guess. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it'll work. Might work better had a new tar. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll be slinging shit before you know it, won't we? Too bad, is it? Need to get sized off that tar. Son, try and get the air pressure. Let's see if it takes any air. No? Layer chain may have been rolling on a screw. It ain't bad shape though, is it? Huh? Not bad at all. How much? Wanna ask? I say a dozen possums and three hens. What I say. Yeah, I'm going to sell it to you for a whole lot more. Here she is. We made it. He's going to haul it on his trailer. So I just pull it on it. Jeep. But we made it up to here and it wasn't too far. Seems like it took forever to get here with that old tar. So now we got to hunt something tar put on it before it can be used. It's in real good shape. The bed's good. Chain, belly chains work. Everything. And he kept it, kept it all, the bed oiled up on it. You still see the oil where you oiled the wood. But all the wood's solid. So it looks real good. Missing one little auger pin on the back of it. Needs to be replaced. All in all, pretty good. Works pretty good. Pretty nice piece of equipment, be as old as it is. So, hunt us a tar. See what we do with it next. We may go. He may have to go into a barn cleaning expert or something. But like I said, we finally got a home after 10, 15 years. <laughs> He's finally sitting here. 
That's it.